All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right in these challenging times. Now, today I want to discuss about God is speeding things up. I was reading the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21, and it discussed about how God controls the times and the seasons and how he raises up kings and pulls down kings and gives wisdom and knowledge to those with understanding or whatnot. And when I read that scripture, that one just really stood out to me because... I look at the world we're living in today and the times that we're in, and we're definitely in the beginning sorrows of what Jesus preached about with the end times and earthquakes and rumors of war and nation against nation, you know, things like that. But time is moving much more faster than ever. This man-made time metric system that we're in, that's not the real time. That's just what we've been brainwashed and programmed with. That's what we've been taught through the school system but an hour in God's word is much more different than an hour in this metric system which is allegedly 60 minutes but the way God does things and how the spirit realm operates is it operates beyond a calendar it operates beyond a month it operates beyond a day or a time a minute an hour a week a year you know things like that in the spirit realm Things are measured by moments and wonders and signs and miracles and seasons and divine things, you know, and manifestation, things like that. You see what I'm saying? And as you can see in the times that we're in today, this world is just moving way too fast. It's just way too much going on all at once, whether it's dealing with politics, whether it's dealing with just celebrity news or celebrity deaths, whether it's dealing with food shortages and things going on in america unemployment the crime rate uh countries having disputes over borders and things like that you see it's just way too much going on they have all these different weather things going on all this climate change all this pollution all the global warming the climate change and all these wars between different countries and nuclear weapons you see how fast everything's just shifting and moving with these news cycles and how the news is spreading nowadays, with well, not only many distractions, but also more alarming things are being presented in the news cycle. This world is just moving way too fast. Things are speeding up way too fast. But what it also is is that God is just pushing and moving things forward. Because so much things have to be done in prophecy. A lot of prophecy has to be fulfilled. So things have to happen in due time. Everything's going to be speeded up now. Everything is just going to be fast forwarded. Everything's just going to happen. There's going to be no explanation. It's just going to be what it is, what it is. It's just going to be on the spot, on the fly. No explanation, no reason why, no manual, no nothing. Things are just going to start happening. And we just have to adapt and get with it. We have to stay with the times. The seasons that God is pushing us forward to, we have to keep moving forward with it. This is not the time to be stuck in old seasons. This is not the time to be crying over spoiled milk or walking around with regrets and resentment and unforgiveness and things of the past. We got to let those things go. It's too much going on to be holding on to the past and old stuff, man, and former things that passed away. Times are too crucial right now to go back to the past. We have to really make we have to make the most of the moment we're in right now. And we have to just keep moving forward and excelling forward because this, this, spirit, this spiritual warfare is very intense. It's very fierce. It's very just heavy. All right. And we got to move right. We got to move different out here now nowadays, man. And, and God is, he's making these seasons. He's changing the times, man. We have to get with it. We got to adapt to it, man. In these last days, more things are going to be more untraditional and more unconventional. God is going to use all types of people or the most random type of people to do his will and to lead the person that was misunderstood or bullied or mocked growing up. Watch how God uses that person. That woman that everyone used to gossip and talk bad about and belittle. Watch how God uses that woman for his, for his glory and his purpose. That man that got bullied growing up, that was misunderstood, that got picked on. Watch how God makes him into a mighty man of valor. God is going to raise up the most unpredictable, random people in these last days. 
Because the spiritual warfare is so intense that it's about who's willing from now on. You see, there's many people out here that are stuck in their ways. There's many people out here that don't want to repent or change. So God is going to go with the ones who want to change, who want to repent, and who want to do the will. Who wants to put in the work, who wants to go into that spiritual battlefield and not play both sides. Because we're going to stay hot for the Lord. We're going to stay We're going to stay on point for the most high. Can't be lukewarm. He's going to spit, he gonna spit out the lukewarm ones. This is the time of the wheat and the tares. This is the time of the right and the left. And I'm telling you, y'all better be on the most highest team, man. Because God is speeding things up. All this prophecy has to be fulfilled. All these events and things have to take place. And you want to be on God's team when all these things go down. You do not want to be on the other side of all this. When all the judgment and calamity and karma and all these things hit. And the wrath of God is poured out on the earth. We're, we're, we're moving towards that direction very fast, very swiftly. So we got to get it together. There's certain points of our lives where we felt like we've been waiting for things so long or, pay, or been praying for it or been eagerly waiting for it or whatnot. God is going to deliver that more faster than ever because this is not a time of baby steps. This is a time of leaps of faith from now on. Our faith is going to get us through these end times, not our degrees, not our job title or position or who we connected to. We have to be connected to God. God is the ultimate source. OK, our faith is going to get us through these end times. Our faith is, going to, is what's going to keep our living conditions blessed. Our faith is going to get those bills paid. Our faith is going to keep those lights on. Our faith is going to keep everything moving forward. God will cover all areas of our lives. We have to really tighten up and get it together. All right. These end times are speeding up very fast. God is speeding things up. All right. Just how God told Lot, get out of Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot left immediately. <laughs> Lot didn't ask no questions. He didn't say, hold on, I'm going to be right there. No, he left immediately. When Jesus went to the disciples and said, come follow me, they followed him immediately. They dropped him fishing this. They followed him immediately. They didn't even ask no questions. They didn't even know who he was. They, that's, how, um, that's the times we are now. God is going to tell us. To go to this place And we're going to have to just get up and go Regardless of what it looks like It's our faith We're walking by faith not by sight We're not walking by Oh I don't know if I can do this Or oh I don't, I don't have enough for that we're not, we're not walking in that no more Them seasons are old Them seasons are old We're walking by faith and not by sight From now on <laughs> I'm telling you, Our faith is being tested more than ever Our obedience to God Is being tested more than ever our trust in the Lord is being tested more than ever. Our backs are against the wall more than ever. The attacks on believers is heavier than ever. How are we going to fight back? How are we going to use the armor of God? How are we going to obey the Lord's voice? How? I'm telling y'all. God is going to tell us to get up and go. And we're going to have to go. God told Lot, get out of Solomon and Gomorrah. Lot got up and asked no questions. You know? The, the, Christ went to the disciples said come follow me And they follow him with no problem The most high is the same yesterday today and forever bro. The same way he did it back then He gonna do it with us now In a much more different form But it's still gonna be for the same reasoning and the same function Okay all of us are in probably Different cities or different states And different countries Different parts of the world right now But God is with us man he is watching us. He is caring over us. He is protecting us. He is with us, man. And I'm telling y'all, God is going to tell you, get up and go. Pack your stuff and leave. Heck, it might be a point where you might not have to pack up anything. You have to just get up and go. <laughs> he going to really test your faith. Let's see, how this, let's see how this woman of God can go far without her purse or without this or without that. Let's see how far this man of God can go without this or that. Let's see how, how his faith is. You see? God is testing us hard, man. And these, these times are moving way too fast. It's just so much going on all at once. We got to make smart choices. We got to be wise. We got to walk by faith. We got to operate in that faith. Faith without works is dead. It is impossible to please God without faith. We have to please the most high. We got to show that faith. We got to walk in it. 
There's no time for doubting. There's no time for questioning things. There's no time for um, walking around wondering what you do and don't have. This. It's not a time for that, man. Things are too intense to, to, to think like that, all right? God is really testing our faith more than ever and our obedience in our hearts, bro. God is testing our character heavy. You notice how in 2019, how fun life was. 2019, 2018, 2017, life was fun. Life was good. You saw how 2020 just took all that away. You saw how last year just boom. It was slow and grueling. It shook everybody up. And now look at 2021. Everything is so chaotic and out of order and just disordered and just totally rebellious, totally just moving too fast. The way we treat each other, just slander everywhere, disrespect, dishonor, senseless killing, senseless violence. You see how see how chaotic it is now? God is speeding these things up. What they did in the days of Noah, they were marrying, they were killing. What do we see today? They marrying and killing. This is the days of Noah. Nothing new is under the sun. I'm telling y'all, we need to get it right with the Lord. We need to tighten up and we need to adapt and we need to get up and go and walk by faith. We have to get out of that laziness, get out of that complacency, get out of stagnation, get out of being stagnant. Get out of your comfort zone, walk by faith and trust him straight up. All right. God is speeding things up. We have to adapt. We have to get with it. We have to keep moving forward. We got to keep being advanced. We got to stay ahead of the curve. All right. The spiritual warfare is too intense to be backsliding and messing up out here. All right. We got to tighten up and get it together. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized. You start your life over. I pray that you adapt to each new season that God is placing before us, that we step into these new seasons. I pray that you're walking and, and manifesting and you're just, you're just living it. All right. I pray that you you get new beginnings and things move on from all of us. All right. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.